and made him lay in the ground for over 28 minutes until he bled out and died. Now, as you can see, I'm not from here. Everybody can see where I'm from. However, we're a music industry household. So, that was his whole purpose within coming out here. The hook up with my brother who works for Sick Woody and receive his own career because my oldest son, who's 25, has a 10 year recording contract. He got tired of living in his background and he wanted his own. I thank God for the 19 years that he gave me. And I thank God for speaking into my spirit, separating me from my family, in my hometown, Seattle, Washington, and bringing me out here on purpose. Nothing else matters but the works. What you do for him, that's what's gonna last. That's why you consistently have seen us within the community for over three years, feeding the community the third Sunday of every month on Kenny's Corner, right there where he died, where the ground is still staying with his blood to the entry to the Opera House. We not only feed the community, we've received deliveries from the food bank at Kenny's Corner on our feeding day. He also has a farmer's market and a free grocery store. And we also supply sack lunches. We just had our third annual coat drive last month in December, and we've held several clothing drives. All of this through the Kenneth Harding Jr. Foundation. And for over three years, we have been community supported. And I would like to thank everyone because we wouldn't have made it and it big for you. And I thank God for putting everyone into position so that this could be seen through. I thank God that I'm standing here now because I could be that mother who never got up out of bed the next day. But he spoke into my spirit and told me I had purpose and I had to get up and go. He told me if I got here, he would take care of everything else. And I'm standing here living witness. He is taking care of everything else. This is my seven year old daughter right here. She was four at the time. So she was also uprooted from her home and everything and everyone who was familiar around her and had to come to a whole new state where no one was familiar and she had to learn all over. Not only that, she's had to deal with all the grown-up issues, but through it all, God has used her as well. Because you can go to Google and you'll see she has over 10 pages of her community service. And if it's not up there feeding the community, because she wants to, I don't force her to, she enjoys it. She doesn't just sit there and hang around, she helps make the lunches. She helps say prayer before we even release anything into the community. So I would like to give my love to my seven-year-old daughter who has gone through all of this with me and she's still here. She's not forced to. You have her in Los Angeles on the news, on the front page of the LA Times, holding up Trayvon Martin signs. You have her going through our capital. You have her going through different states about purpose. And it's only because the mind of a seven-year-old understands what's happening in this world. So what's wrong with us adults that we can't catch on? When we hear another tragedy has happened, another police murder, they say they fear for their life, so they murder somebody else. We as people look and we say, well, he must have deserved that. Or what was he doing to be shot down? What happened to warning shots? What happened to tasering? What happened to knocking somebody down and arresting them and allowing them to go do their job instead of putting them six feet under. 
So I'm standing here with all of you as a witness to God. He lifted me up. He brought me to y'all to help the community within everything that's going on with the next grieving mother who's coming. It's going to be another one because the statistics say every 36 hours a person of color is killed. It's not just black. It's black and brown. People of color. So y'all need to understand black and brown need to unite. That was our whole goal for 2014 as a foundation. And throughout Osario, the vice president of the Kenneth Harden Jr. Foundation, he bridged the gap between the black and the brown. So whether we're up north in the Bay or we're down south in LA, marching, protesting against anti-police brutality, Black and brown have united to fight against the true enemy. That's not one another. That's the ones who are killing us. Thank you and have a blessed day.